Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank, you are listening, caring partner. If you do not look after today's business, you might as well forget about tomorrow. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Agribusiness is perceived as a business for the aged and can only take place in the rural areas. However, John Maingi, a young farmer, considers it as a very lucrative business that any young person can participate in regardless of where they live. Watch his story tonight on Road to Success. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our guest believes that his business is a hobby and part of his lifestyle. Karibu John. Thank you for having me here. Your business is called Foods Africa Enterprises. Yes. What do you do? At Foods Africa Enterprises, we do have a range of different products and services. We First of all, we do supply fresh vegetables and fruits, under which we have an online soco whereby we do supply after you shop online and we do free delivery services around Nairobi, but we are looking to expand. Then we have agricultural services like farm management, irrigation system in installations, consultancy, greenhouse building. We also do soil analysis and testing. Then we are also in the modality of forming up an agricultural bond, whereby we will encourage corporates, people in Kenyans living in the diaspora to invest in agriculture. Are you like a middleman? No, what we basically do is we take farmers under us. We will encourage you on the best practices, the farming practices, so as to ensure you get maximum yields. Then we'll advise you on how to plant, we'll give you farm support. That is whereby we come to your farm like twice a month to see your progress. Then. Once you start harvesting, we'll offer you market. That is, we'll buy from you. Yeah. So how did you get into it? <laughs> it was a passion, and growing up in a, from a farming homestead, I saw an opportunity whereby the government has, it, has been advising the youth to get into entrepreneurship. And with the 30% that the government has promised for the youth and the women, I saw a chance to be my own boss, first of all and to also do something outside the normal because many youth are not getting involved in farming nowadays. Where are you based? We have a small office in town, Uganda House, first floor. We have a small office there, but we've gotten room to expand. We are moving in March to the fourth floor, the same building, Uganda House. Is your background farming? My background is from IT, is in IT. I've done computer forensics and cybercrime, but I have a passion in farming. My mother is a big time farmer and she's encouraged us all through to try farming. I wanted to like follow and build her dream to something successful. So what kind of farm produce do you help people with? Basically we do all farm produce, but we are encouraging farmers to, do, to venture into greenhouse farming because it does not rely on the weather that is, each and every particular time of the year, farmers can farm in greenhouse farming. That is a horticultural products such as capsicums, tomatoes, cucumbers, yeah, to ensure food security and sufficient flow of food in the market. How do you get farmers to trust you? First of all, you have to approach a farmer on a good level, whereby you come in as a partner. You want to work with them from the word go, till the very end. You can take a farmer, take them to a successful farm, show them what's going on, and have them gain more interest to working with you. Hence, you build your rapport and your trust with them. 
our company grows as well as educating other people and seeing that we all grow together. How do you access your farmers? Some farmers we approach them who are the these are like the small scale farmers who are trying to sell their products. We come to them and tell them you can sell us our pro your products. You can sell them through us, that is we buy from you. But yet again we encourage them on what specifically to plant at a, at a specific time. Do you have a farm? <laughs> we do have a small farm in Kaskari, it's a greenhouse. We still we are still farming capsicums. That is how it started. We started small and I used to take the produce myself in, to, to the food processing areas and supplying it just by packaging it in big paper bags, 20 kilograms a day and supplying it, yeah. And within time, the, the demand became too much, so I had to look for supply from other farmers. Yeah, that is how we got to expand. And who are you selling this to? Product. We have a few food processing companies around the old airport road. We supply a few supermarkets. We also supply it locally to the common Monanchi. Yeah. John, what new techniques or what new ideas are you bringing in to any farmer uh, who is in your group or wants to join uh, your, your, your company? We are advising farmers to go modern. That is by farmers now. With the with lack of rains, they don't really have to depend on the rains. They can start greenhouse farming, which is more secure and helps in managing food security. We are also encouraging farmers to do open irrigation systems, whereby you don't have to have a greenhouse to have irrigation systems in place. You can have large tracts of land, but you can install irrigation systems and go ahead and plant various different kind of plants and have good deals. John, you do have a very inspiring story, but we must take a break. But when we come back, we'd like to know which farmers you work with, where are they, yeah, and what motivated you to start this. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. The new Equity Auto Branch MasterCard with PayPass lets you enjoy a faster, cashless, more secure card experience. You can tap and swipe your shopping, pay your bills, and fuel at no charge. You can also withdraw and deposit cash at equity agents and ATMs countrywide and access your bank account from any MasterCard outlets worldwide when you travel. Visit your Equity Bank branch today and get yours instantly. Welcome back. You're watching Road to Success, the key to your next level in business. Our guest is John Mainge from Foods Africa Enterprises, who believes that everybody should be empowered with the knowledge of food security. Welcome back. Thank you. Before we went on break, you were sharing with us um, about um, who you work with in terms of the farmers around the different counties. Yeah. Who do you work with? Currently, you're working with farmers from around central Kenya. But now, with the 1,500 farmers on board, we'll be almost in every county in the country. You say you have 1,500 farmers. How, does it, how did you get them, and how does that work? We partnered with Small Medium Enterprise Resource Center. It's an NGO that deals with entrepreneurship. They recently started a program for agribusiness, and they have brought on board so many farmers. That is where we partnered with them, and they gave us the 1,500 farmers to work with. You said you have 1,500 people, yeah. farmers that you work with. Yeah. Obviously, you can't um, cater to all their needs. Do you have other people that you're training, other farmers? Yeah, we do have like 15 people we are training who will be offering farm support services to these farmers because we'll be doing it in groups. Like I said, we have around 10 in Darakanidi. We have some in Kakamega, some in Busia. So. Once we visit these places, if it's the day for training the farmers, the guys involved in going to the specific areas will be, will arrange a meet with the farmers and train them on the specific areas and offer farm visits to them. The success of any company is the people. How many people are you working with? 
we are three directors whereby each one of us has a specific different task one is on the financial part we have one on the marketing part and we have one on the groundwork who is basically me okay tell me what are the challenges in marketing that you have encountered uh, within the years you've been in this business many people don't see the value of agribusiness yet but for those who've seen it and those who know that it's the next big thing they'll take you seriously and they'll give you the chance to market yourself they let you advertise yourself like we've gone for forums agri pro focus forums yeah we've gotten the chance to market our company and many people are seeing the challenge that this young guy is coming up taking it very seriously and yeah we're, we're working hard to ensure that everything falls into place within the the 5 years 6 years you've been in this business what are the challenges that you have faced capital has been an issue we had to really struggle to make ends meet yeah we needed initial startup money to buy from the farmers to expand but within time yeah we are moving and making progress transport has also been an issue with the challenges of infrastructure whereby you have to access the remote places it's been challenging but the government with the current roadworks and also the incorporation of the new railway system we do hope that everything will work out well hence reducing the cost of doing business another challenge is passing the knowledge to the young people because many young people have not been involved in farming but currently young people now have started to see the importance of farming as they at is as it is an avenue to create employment hence make a decent living for themselves if anybody is interested in being part of foods africa enterprises what do they need to do to be part of foods africa all you need is to come to our offices we listen to you we discuss we get to know what exactly you want to farm then we advise you for farmers who are already existing in the business what we basically do is we will take you and our our farmer kit you will be part of us we will train you where need be we will buy from you and we will also advise you on the products that you need to plant so as to get good yields um do you need to have a farm to be part of um foods africa enterprises no you don't need to have land to be part of foods africa enterprises you can come to us and tell us what you really want to farm we will go out there lease land for you plant for you harvest sell and you'll get your money back because i need to mention that the 8 to 5 person may not have the time yeah. to do this yeah. but what is my investment um in in when it comes to the leasing when it comes to the leasing we will tell you on exactly the amount you need to pay for a certain acreage of land the cost of input the cost of production yeah then we start farming we will hire a farm hand who will take care of your farm if you don't have the time to come and check your farm each and every day you can pass by every weekend and see the progress we do keep farm sheets the farm sheets contain progress record of plants the plant health and yeah once you start harvesting you will start getting your money back i love that you have such passion for farming yeah and and i and i know you see very far what is what is, what is your vision for foods africa we reach out to the very very basic farmer each and every part of the country to ensure that we empower the youth to get into agriculture because it's the next big thing we also want to ensure that there's food security in the country we as a kenya as a country we're not supposed to be having problems like drought it's a shame but with, when the knowledge is passed across and people put action wordings into actions everything will be okay and at this food africa we want to make sure that we pass the message across and ensure that people get to farming in food africa we also do corporate social responsibility whereby we donate food to children homes like max children home in kasarani we have maximum miracle center children home in kawaskari among us the few to ensure that the kids there have enough food and fresh produce thank you so much john mangi 
I can see you have a very big dream and a very big vision. And we really, really do wish you all the best. Thank you. Road to Success is brought to you by Equity Bank. Equity Bank. You are listening, caring partner.